Teemer is the clan who reveres the savagery of the dragon. That they believe that, you know how you win a fight? By being the biggest and the baddest fighter there. You know, that you win by just being the mightiest warrior. And so they really stress on having the biggest and baddest and meanest warriors around. The Teemer savagery rises from their need to survive in the icy wilderness of Tarkir. They've chosen to make their life out on the frontier. They have to do whatever it takes to adapt to this harsh environment. That adaptation has made them supremely tough and powerful. They face danger every day, so battle to them is just another day of living. Ferocious is the teamer mechanic, and ferocious abilities get better if you control a creature with power four or greater. Now, most ferocious cards are either instants, sorceries, or it's some sort of triggered ability on a creature. Now, these are gonna check when they resolve to see if you control a creature with power four or greater. So if you cast one of these spells, and let's say I control one creature with power four or greater, and in response you destroy that creature, when the spell with the ferocious ability resolves, since I don't control one, I'm not gonna get that bonus. But if I do, then I will. The set had Morph in it. It had Raid, which appears on quite a few creature spells. The Delve cards had quite a few creatures too. Prowess, by definition, has to be on a creature. So when we came to the teamer, we said, what are we gonna do? We have all creature mechanics. We need something to put on spells. Delve is great if you really like being clever and showing how neat you can be with dumping all your cards and then getting something cheap. Prowess is great if you enjoy tricking people with doing tricky things. Ferocious is for the guy that just wants to play giant creatures and attack. The con of the teamer is Surak Dragonclaw. Surak rose to power after defeating a bear in single combat, proving his savagery and his power. He's also survived many challenges to his rule by other warriors in his clan. Even today you can see that he wears the skin of the bear he, he slew as his personal cloak. So sort of Dragonclaw was designed because we were just trying to make, like, he's a mightier warrior. And we wanted to make his card sort of make sense of that he's a good fighter and you want to get him to play, he can help you win combats, and that he also helps encourage, you know, that the, the rest of your team is, you, your opponent's not stopping them, that they get to get in play and they get to fight and they're more powerful. And I will say this, that if I'd known what I know now, he would have had protection from bears. In a typical set, green common, you might find 1G22, Runeclaw Bear. We decided here, green should really be getting more four power cards, so Ferocious works. Green is, that's gonna be green's most important role in the Ferocious deck, it's just giving you the four power creatures. So here, Alpine Grizzly, four two for three mana, slight change, but it really different in this set. The teamer are symbolized by the dragon's claw, and you'll see that in, in their costuming sometimes, the shamans of the, of the teamer actually wear hoods with dangling dragon's claws over their eyes that allows them to connect with mystical forces like the elements. The three colors of the teamer are the traditional colors of elemental magic in magic. So the teamer are masters at elementalism and summoning enormous elementals to their side. One of the things that we did with Morph, because Morph is the mechanic, the clan mechanics are only in their clan, but Morph runs through all of the clans. And how we wanted to use Morph was to show how each clan used it differently. So the teamer, for example, Morph is about getting strong things into play. That I get something, and when I get an unmorph, you know, get a turn to face up, that I have something very powerful that you get to fight against. Um, so Snowhorn Rider is a very good example of, okay, you get this out, and that, you know, it's a 5-5 trampler. Like, like when that thing can turn over and, and become a 5-5 trampler, that's gonna win a lot of fights. Heir of the Wilds is my favorite ferocious card, and it's not close. The ferocious cards really want you to play with a bunch of four and up power creatures, which in Constructed, if you end up following that, you can end up with a bunch of Pelucranoses and Savage Knuckle Blades and a bunch of things that are big and kind of hard to cast. And for me, Air is just the perfect card to go in that deck because it rewards you for your four power things, 
but it's also exactly what you need to survive to the point where those are the cards that you have in play. Teamer Charm is part of our cycle of charms. The first ability is a, a green ability. Um, it gives you the ability to make your creature bigger and fight. Uh, the second ability is a blue ability. It's a, a callback to mana leak, pretty much. And uh, the third ability is a red ability, which makes it harder for your creatures um, to be blocked, which is typically a red ability. And um, so that is a focus that. So each of these charms has one ability corresponding to one of each of the colors and the, the charms mana cost. Crater's Claws might be one of the more generous end of the game out of nowhere cards that we've ever made. That extra two damage on this thing is just, it's serious. And one of the more important uses for me when I was playing Constructed was sometimes if I had five mana, I would end up just playing Pelucranos or something and then one mana shocking some something. And that's value that most X spells just can't offer you that I found was really important for that card. As a way to get you to play your large creatures with some spell effects that have the ferocious keyword on them, we wanted something for blue to add because it's green and red and need blue to do something. So how about protecting your large creature to something that blue can do? So Stubborn Denial is a great thing for you to do to protect your large creature that's about to die. Stubborn Denial is great. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing Teamer decks in the Future Future League, and that was a key piece. There were always four of that card in my 75s. One, one of the fun things about uh, having three colors for a clan is being able to sort of push you, nudge you into decks that you wouldn't be building normally. So this is, this is a deck that wants to be countering your opponent's spells, but you need big creatures to be able to power that out. And that's, it's a very different deck than we usually see, and that's a lot of fun. Green, blue, red. The savagery of the dragon, the Teemo. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Inside R&D. Our thanks as always to the men and women here in Seattle who continue to make our game the best in the world. But until we meet again for Fate Reforged here on Inside R&D, I'm your host, Rich Hagen, saying bye.